This is just a quick element update. First, the stereo behind HI-1 has still not been corrected, as you can see there. A quick word about the CME uh, that came out of the sun earlier. Now, we had reported that there was uh, it was probably not going to hit Allen N or that there was no evidence to suggest that it was coming anywhere near Allen N. We have to back off that a little bit because there's a chance that tomorrow, September 3rd or the 4th, the CME could actually come into contact with Allen N if it's still there. What you're going to look at here is the Signet streamer and coming off towards the 4 to 5 o'clock area there is the coronal mass ejection. Uh, now that's kind of where Alanin is. It's out a little before, uh, uh, a little ahead of where Alanin is, at least the brunt of it. But you can see it spreads out quickly and covers a fairly, fairly large area, even you know when it gets to Mercury. And so there's there it is today on September 2nd. We'll move it forward September 3rd, September 4th. Not a major change. And to be honest, it does look like that CME uh, did come out a bit ahead, but. We can't know how uh, how far it's spread. I uh, don't know if it's going to hit, but uh, looking forward to seeing if it's true. Uh, it also looks like as the CME comes a little past Earth, it bends uh, the magnetic portal between the Earth and the Sun, which is represented by that dotted black and white line there. Uh, some have said that this corresponds to earthquakes. This will be a good chance for uh, for us to test that theory. Uh, but we need to keep watching folks. Somebody needs to get a shot of Alan and see if it's still there uh, Be safe. Happy watching folks